Hi everyone, thank you so much for watching. My name is Yadira. Today I'm gonna be going over an Ulta and Sephora haul. I picked up these items during the 21 Days of Beauty or the 50% Wow event that Sephora also has during the same time frame. Sephora is currently having a spring sales event or it's at the tail end, so I'm gonna pick some items up and then hopefully I will be able to share those purchases with you in a future video. If you are new, welcome. If you are returning, thank you so much for coming back. I did recently get a new hairdo, so I am very excited, still kind of working with it. I don't know if I like my bangs as a side swept or just over um, top like a curtain kind of style. If you do have bangs and love to style them, let me know what are your go-to ways to wear them. But let's get into what it is that I got from Ulta and Sephora. Um, I seriously have like so many packages just randomly around here, so I am just going to tear through the boxes first and then compile the items and share those pieces with you. I did try to shop most of these items through Ulta during the 21 days of beauty, but for some reason in the app, I couldn't purchase anything for the first week of the sale. Um, there was something with the app. I had to like reinstall it. Then I started shopping the sale, but during the first pieces, that's kind of how I ended up with a lot of stuff from Sephora because I wasn't able to shop the sale directly at the beginning. And hopefully for the fall 21 days of beauty or the wow event that will happen around that time, have some of those pieces that I did miss out on. Did you shop the sale only at Ulta or did you also shop it at Sephora? I got a free sample but it's empty. Actually it's in the box. Going through the items that I got from Sephora first in no order. Um, I got the Saint-Tropez self-tan face mist and this is in the natural glowing skin shade, I want to say. So I did pick this one up and this is their small one in the 2.7 fluid ounces. So I might go through it very quickly. If you do have a great self-tanning product that is for the very beginner and you would like to recommend that, let me know what that is. Um, and then I also did get a sample of the shampoo and conditioner by Orave. I love shopping through Sephora because of the many samples that you're able to pick from. Unlike with Ulta, you can't really get those unless it's like a free gift with purchase or they're running like a promotion like spend $75 and get something. The next item is by Benefit. This is the Porefessional Super Setter Spray and I actually got it in the mini travel size. I wanted to get it in the full size but that sold out so fast. So this is the one that I got. This is a one fluid ounce, so it's friendly to travel with or to keep in your bag. So I guess it's a plus. Then I got a perfume sample. This is the Guerlain Aqua Algoria. It smells really pretty in the packaging. So I'm excited about that. And then next up, I got the Brow Wiz Skinny Brow Pencil by Anastasia in the shade Medium Brown. I love the Anastasia Brow Wiz Pencils. It's one of the pencils that I personally restock on every time that they do have it on sale. So this is the shade Medium Brown. Two more samples. These are both consistent concealers from NARS and then from Makeup Forever. And then by Stila, I did get their waterproof stay all day liquid eyeliner and this is in the shade Intense Smoky Quartz. I didn't want it black because I thought it was just too profound so I wanted something a little bit softer so I opted for this color. So it is dark enough to where it is also kind of leaning towards a black for me. I kind of like that I went with this color instead of doing an actual black. You can certainly still tell that it is still a deep, rich brown color. And then the um, Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation Samples. Then I got the Tom Ford Bitter Peach Perfume Sample Mini. And then I did redeem some of my points to get a lipstick. This is by Valentino. It's the Rose for Valentino line in the color 100R Roman Grace. So it just comes in this little packaging. And I want to open it. This is the Mini. So cute for like your handbag on the go. This is the shade. It's very creamy while swatching, but it's a little bit of a hint of rosiness. But I think it's a shade that is still very wearable for every day. Kind of like a My Lips But Better with a rosy tint. If you know a few years back, My Lips But Better colors were in style. Or I guess they're just like neutral, but yet very wearable and flattering for any day or any look really. Personally, my natural lip color is not so much on the pale side or in the deep end. It's more of that medium tone. It does 
have some color to it so that's why i feel like this is gonna be a beautiful shade for every day and i'm happy that i got it in a mini because i never really go through lipstick so quickly so happy about that one now let's go into all the purchases that i got from ulta so starting off with a big item at least in size not by price this is by indalee this is their lotion tonique coq10 this is a spray it says to spritz a cotton pad and apply to face and neck morning and evening after cleansing you can also apply directly onto the skin avoid the eye area i love this bottle too it's like hefty because it's glass i thought it was like plastic at first like through online so i love that it seems very luxurious even though this brand is not too too expensive in my opinion so a little toner just to spritz whenever you want to refresh um if you're doing like a no makeup kind of day or even like a setting spray maybe um going on with persona this is their super blush in the shade terracotta i love the packaging it's not not that it's glamorous and by any way it's just very compact and simple you know not too much going on so this is the blush it almost looks like a travel size almost looks like it could be a bronzer so just a muted orangey kind of shade so i think i could have worn something like this today very pretty if this had a mirror i think this would be a perfect compact just to carry on the go because it's such a good size it's not taking up too much space it's not bulky it's i like this size so i'm gonna try to see if they have more items that actually come with a mirror and then i have two of the um lip plump by tarte these are the maracuja juicy lips i got them in the shade primrose and then also in peachy beige peachy beige and primrose i mean the packaging does seem a little bit cheap but it was 50 percent off the color payoff is very great and i like how it's creamy and it has a high shine so it seems to be like a good quality like tinted balm so hopefully they'll wear pretty nicely on the lips i've heard a lot of things about these especially in instagram a lot of influencers really push these so i wanted to give those a try again i got them in peachy beige and in primrose Next up, I got a Studio Fix Powder Plus Foundation from MAC. I got it in the color NC41, and looking at it in the pan, it kind of looks a little bit dark, so I might have to go return it, like if I have it around here. You see, like, it's very dark compared to, like, my actual skin, like my neck. I don't have any makeup here, but up here, maybe, like, a bronzer setting powder, maybe, or something like that. So I'm not gonna touch it. I'm not gonna swatch it either. It, it did come a little bit scratched around there, and I did not do that. Actually, there's there's not even any residue in the box also did not come with like a film i used to buy this like back in the day and i want to say it did have like a protector so um i don't know i might have to go into ulta and give a few of the mac powders some swatches and then see if i can find my shade or just return this one all together so that is the studio fix powder plus foundation in the shade nc41 again not gonna swatch it and then i got a press bronzer from jacqueline cosmetics and this is her sun bathe bronzer line i got it in the shade vitamin d this one is actually one of the products that i am excited about i have purchased some of her items in the past and i do find that they are good quality this one in particular i was running out of my bronzer so i wanted to get it and this is what the color looks like it almost looks like that studio fix powder i just showed i love packaging it's very hefty um great quality i think for the price you can really tell where your money is going um it does have a slit cover here for the mirror so a nice big size mirror and i'm gonna it does have a scent like a caramel coffee sort of blend i don't mind it it's not too deep actually this is a little bit lighter than the actual blush that i got from persona so the bronzer is swatched right here and the blush is right here so almost similar i guess i can use the persona blush as a bronzer so persona and the bronze okay and then in store i was only able to go in twice and did some shopping so i got the buxom full-on plumping polish in the shade serena they actually were sold out of a lot of shades and it was very late in the day whenever i went i was busy the entire day and by the time i remembered almost everything was sold out but this is such a pretty color and i 
thought that this could be a great topper. A lot of their glosses, I feel like they are good companions as toppers. This has a, a scent as well. This is pretty and it's very opaque as well. It's not sheer. So far, I really do like this gloss and I was surprised that it didn't sell out. I mean, they did have a lot of their glitters left and a lot of their cream polished lip glosses were sold out by the time I was there. Thankfully, I was able to at least get one and I'm happy that it was one that had a shimmer because I do have another buxom lip gloss and it is a cream and then this last one I have a package that I did open I actually put one of these already in my car I like to have them on the go like if I ever do miss to shave my mustache or shape my eyebrows on the go or even if I miss shaving a particular area of my legs and I'm wearing shorts or skirt or something where I'm showing a lot of legs I like to have these in my car and that's why it's open anyways this is by real techniques these are their face and brow razors and it is in a peach tone color it is double-sided so a micro tip there and then a larger tip up the top a set of three and then last i believe this is last yes this is the lancome edo mascara lancome makes one of the best mascaras in my opinion so i did pick this one up i love the tube it is a very rectangular I got this in, this is not the waterproof version. This is in the shade Glossy Black. This is just a regular formula. And then it's very lightweight. Like it's a nice weight to the tube, but it's not heavy at all. The one has a nice curve to it. So I feel like it's going to give a great lift just like it's representing right here on this side. This is the wand. So I got a great variety of things. Almost I can do a full face with all of these items that I did get. So I got some eye and brow products, also lippies, and then blush, bronzer, and powder foundation, which sadly I might be returning. But yeah, if you did shop the sale, let me know what it is that you got. Obviously, a lot of these things are new into my collection. The only thing that I am repurchasing is the Brow Wiz. And then I did try the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Eyeliner a long, long time ago. So it is also a repurchase. I just haven't used it in some time. Everything else is pretty much new. So I really can't give you any detailed reviews on it or any... Well, I guess I can do the first impressions like I did with the Maracuja Juicy Lip Plump by Tarte. Super excited about this one. And also... The this the uh, setting powder it has great reviews i wish i would have gotten the big one but again this one is a great size for travel and looking at the bottle right now i can tell that it has a double cap which i guess is cool even better for my handbag and then this i don't self tan but i do like the fact that i can use this one on my legs and because it's targeted for your face it's not going to be as pigmented so i feel like it's a great introduction for me to get into the self tanning world. That is everything that I got during the 21 days of beauty or that wow event that Sephora does alongside of Ulta. Like I did mention, I'm going to try to show you what it is that I pick up from the Sephora spring savings event. For that sale, I am a beauty insider status. I used to be the Rouge, but I didn't really shop there last year too much. So I did drop down to just the 10%. So I am still going to get a little bit of items, not too much, but but whatever it is that I do pick up, I do want to share that with you and hopefully so in a future video. I am going to link all the products that I did mention today down below just in case you are interested in any of these. And I want to thank you so much for spending a little bit of your day with me and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye!